Well, look, this was a company that raised money at, I think, a $10 billion valuation. Could it eke out $5 billion by some of the maths that you're seeing? It'll be interesting to see. I think the key here that we don't have the answer to yet is whether or not Reddit is profitable. So when they first made plans to go public in early 2022, talking about even a $15 billion valuation, they were not yet profitable. Um, Scrap those plans, coming to the market again. And I think that's going to be the crux for where this valuation plays out. When we look at the cohort of tech IPOs in late 2023, so the Clavio, Instacart, Arm Group, these were all profitable companies and they still had lackluster performance. So mm. at a minimum, I would assume that Reddit is near profitability, um, but there's a lot to be learned from their S1. Profitability key, also perhaps talking up artificial intelligence. Is that what's going to dictate whether companies could come in any sort of window that opens in 2024? Yeah, I think any company that can play into the AI buzz will obviously use that, whether that's a marketing tactic or a key part of their business is, you know, a separate question. Um, I, I would say when we're looking at Reddit, we're really talking about their advertising business. So, you know, mm-hmm. as a core social media platform, they generated over $800 million in revenue uh, from advertising last year. That's up 20% from the prior year. Uh, But there's a lot of competition with TikTok and Meta and others in the space. Uh, But I would also say that there is investor interest for these social media platforms. We haven't seen one of them go public since Pinterest back in 2019. And, um, you know, those stocks have really rallied. Uh, Pinterest debuted at $10 million and is now trading at a $25 billion valuation. So perhaps they're hoping to, you know, jump on some of that momentum. Brienne, how, how much emphasis do you put on the idea that if Reddit does this, pulls the trigger, it opens up a broader IPO window for everyone else that's waiting in the wings. I think a lot of private companies have been waiting for the hero company to come out and have this vastly successful IPO and welcome others to follow. Obviously, we haven't seen that yet. So the companies that are choosing to go public now are you know, taking on a bit of a leadership role and hoping to play that part. Um, but what we're hearing from the heads of NYSE and NASDAQ are that There are lots and lots of companies who are starting their roadshows, putting their pieces in place because they feel the pressure to IPO and they're ready to IPO. You know, when you look at Reddit, for instance, this is a 19 year old company. There is both a liquidity need for early employees and shareholders and just an investor access need from retail investors as well. So if a Reddit goes well, I think there'll be other companies that look to follow. Let's spare a thought for Reddit, right? Yes, you talked about their ad business, they have a premium subscription tier, but lots of companies go public because they want their name out there. You know, I don't think we've really been talking about Reddit for a little while. Uh, Do you think that that's a good strategy to go to market with? Yeah, and I think it's a strategy that could really benefit them, especially given who their platform is. Their subreddit, Wall Street Bets, really started the whole meme stock frenzy. So there is a core part of their users and their platform that is around investing and in particular retail investing. So I think one interesting thing about this IPO to watch will be if those Redditors get on board, will uh, you know Reddit become the next meme stock? That would be kind of meta. But um, at a minimum, is there investor interest um, from these platform users? So I think, uh, you know, from a marketing and brand perspective, this IPO chatter is helping to get their name out there. And whether or not that will translate to investor interest, we'll see.